Today I'm going to show you how to use text macros to change Xcode's default header comment at the top of each file you create in every project globally. This way you can add your own custom messages and comments that might be more useful for each file being created. So the first thing we'll do is open up a terminal session. And now we're going to use the CD to change our directory to our home with tilde, library, developer, Xcode, user data. If we do an ls command here, the file that we're looking for is IDE template macros.plist. This file in this location will add the custom header comments at the top of all Xcode projects globally across your Mac. If you don't have this file, just simply type touch and then IDE template macros.plist. That will create the empty IDE template macros plist file that we can now open up with a text editor. In my case, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. And the contents of this file I will put in the description of this video so that you can copy it and paste it into your own plist. You'll notice that we have a couple items here with underscores. We've got the package name and date, and that's basically where the text macro comes into play. Apple has its own reference site to which different macros you can use, and I'll put the link to that in the description as well. But if I switch to it, you can see that we have date, file base name, file header, file name, package name, organization name, stuff like that. So let's add a couple more macros in here just so you can see how this works. Let's add project name and product name and time. At And just so we know which one we're looking at, we can put product, project, and package. We'll go ahead and save this file. And now come back to Xcode. And you'll notice that this header is not changed. But now if we create a new file, let's add a Swift file called test. Now we have our new header comments exactly as we specified. So our product name is command test. Our project name is command test and our package is command test. And you see that we created this at 9.40 a.m. That's it for today's video, and I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.